welcome to the session. In this session, we shall study the concept of absolute value and make out the comparison of absolute value from the statements about order. First of all, we all should know about integers. Now, integers are a set of whole numbers with their opposites. For example, 3 is a whole number then the opposite of 3 is minus 3 that is the negative of the given number. Now we will make the use of number line to represent the integers. Now here we have drawn a number line and we have marked a point as 0. Now the integers on the right side of 0 are positive integers and on the left are the opposites that is on the left side of 0 we are having the negative integers. Now opposite of 0 is 0. Opposite of 1 is minus 1. Then opposite of 2 is minus 2. And opposite of 3 is minus 3 and so on. Now we shall know how these negative and positive numbers are used in real life situation. The positive and negative numbers are used to describe the quantities having opposite direction or values like these integers are used to write the values of temperature above or below the freezing point, elevation above or below the sea level, credit and debit, positive and negative charge, etc. Now let us discuss this with the help of an example. And in this example, a mountain climbs a cliff and reaches 20 feet above the sea level and a scuba diver goes 20 feet below the sea level. Write the integer for the position of mountaineer and the scuba diver related to sea level. Now let us start with the solution of the given example. Now let us draw a horizontal line representing the sea level and take it as the point zero. Now if we consider a vertical number line then points above zero will be positive and the points below zero will be negative. Thus from the diagram for Mountainia the 20 feet height will lie above zero, so it will be positive. And for the scuba diver, the 20 feet depth will lie below zero, so it will be a negative integer. So we will get the following table in which we will write the particular integer for the mountaineer and scuba diver. for describing their position relative to the sea level. Now as the mountaineer is 20 feet above the sea level, that is, it is 20 feet above the zero point, so it will be given a positive integer, that is, the integer 20, 
and corresponding to the scuba diver, we will have the integer minus 20 as this position is 20 feet below the sea level, that is 20 feet below the point zero. Now let us discuss how to compare and order integers. Now a number line is used to compare and order integers. Numbers to the left are less than numbers to the right and numbers to the right are greater than numbers to the left. Now let us draw a number line. Now here we have drawn a number line. Now here we want to know that if minus 3 is less than minus 2, Now, if we have to compare minus 3 and minus 2, then first of all, we will plot minus 3 and minus 2 on the number line. Now, from the number line, you can see that minus 3 is to the left of minus 2. Therefore, minus 3 is less than minus 2. As numbers to the left are less than numbers to the right on the number line. Now if we have to compare 2 and minus 4 then in this case also first of all we have to plot these two points on the number line. Now here you can see that 2 is to the right of minus 4, therefore 2 is greater than minus 4. As numbers to the right are greater than numbers to the left on the number line. Now let us discuss an example. For discussing the application of compare and order of integers in real world. And the example says that the temperature of a city A is minus 4 degrees and temperature of city B is minus 6 degrees. Which city is warmer? Now let us start with its solution. Now here we have drawn the number line. And we have to mark the points minus 4 and minus 6 on the number line. Now here we have marked the points minus 4 and minus 6 on the number line. Now as minus 4 is to the right of minus 6, therefore, Minus 4 is greater than minus 6. So here we can say that the temperature of city A which is minus 4 degrees is greater than the temperature of city B which is minus 6 degrees. Hence city A is warmer than city P. Now let us discuss the concept of absolute value. First of all, let us discuss its definition. Now absolute value of a number is the distance between the number that is the given number and zero on the number line. Now the absolute value of any number A is written as absolute value of A. That is like this 
we will write the absolute value of any number a. Now if we have to find the absolute value of 2, then it is written as absolute value of 2 which is equal to 2 and absolute value of minus 2 which is written as absolute value of minus 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, absolute value of a number is the numerical value of the number without giving regard to its sign. Now let us plot 2 and minus 2 on the number line. Now from the number line we can see that the distance of minus 2 from 0 is 2 units and also the distance of 2 from 0 is 2 units. So the absolute value of a number is the distance of the given number from 0 on the number line. Now let us discuss an example. And the example says find the absolute value of minus 10 and the absolute value of 6. Now let us start with its solution. First of all we have to find the absolute value of minus 10. For this we will plot minus 10 on the number line. Now here we can see that the distance of minus 10 from 0 on a number line is 10 units. Therefore, the absolute value of minus 10 is equal to 10. And similarly, if we plot 6 on a number line, then the distance of 6 from 0 on a number line is 6 units. Therefore, the absolute value of 6 is equal to 6. Now let us discuss some of the important remarks. First is, the opposite integers have same absolute value. Since they are both at the same distance from 0 on the number line. Second is, absolute value of 0 is 0. Third is, absolute value of a number is never negative. It means absolute value is always a positive number. Next is minus of absolute value of minus a represents negative of absolute value or opposite of absolute value. Now consider Minus of absolute value of minus 5 If means opposite or negative of the absolute value of minus 5 Which will be equal to Now absolute value of minus 5 is 5 And on solving this will be equal to minus 5 and we have absolute value of minus 5 is equal to 5. Now absolute value of minus 5 is 5 which is positive and its negative or opposite is minus 5. Now let us discuss how to compare values. Now if we have to compare 2 and absolute value of minus 4 now we have already learned how to compare two integers. So we will follow the same procedure here. Now let us plot 2 and absolute value of minus 4 on the number line. 
Now we know that absolute value of minus 4 is equal to 4. Now here we have plotted 2 and absolute value of minus 4 that is 4 on the number line. Now here we can see that 2 is to the left of absolute value of minus 4 therefore 2 is less than absolute value of minus 4. Now let us discuss how to compare the absolute values from the statements about order. For this, let us consider an example which will help us to know how these absolute values are helpful in real world. And the example says, Kate goes to the bank to get her account statement. Her statement shows she has an account balance less than minus $20. What does it mean? Now an account balance of minus $20 means that Kate has a negative account balance. Now to interpret it, let us take the absolute value of minus twenty dollars which is equal to twenty dollars. Now let us plot minus twenty and twenty on the number line. Now this is the point minus twenty and this is the point twenty on the number line. Now less than minus 20 means the value is less than minus 20 that are the integers on the left of minus 20 on the number line. That is minus 25, minus 30 and so on. Now money cannot be taken as negative. So we have taken the absolute value of minus 20 dollars which is equal to $20 and we have plotted this on a number line. Now as we have already discussed that the values less than minus 20 means the values can be any of minus 25, minus 30 and so on. So we take absolute values of all the numbers less than minus 20. Now the account balance can be any value like 25, 30 and so on which means it can be any value greater than $20. It means her debit is greater than $20. Therefore, she owes more than twenty dollars to the bank. Therefore, the statement which shows that she has an account balance less than minus twenty dollars means she owes more than twenty dollars to the bank. So in this session we have learnt about the concept of absolute value and how to make out the comparison of absolute values from the statements about order. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.